So we're going to start with the tongue first. So if we just do two lines like this, then you kind of want the tongue to be a bit pointy. So you're coming down and then back up. Now, because you've done it in pencil, you can always fix up your mistakes. And then you want to put a line in the middle and that's where your V is for your start of your mouth. And so the mouth, you probably want to do some dots for where you want it to come around and join up and join up and then you want to outline the mouth might make that tongue a bit longer okay and because you're using pencil you can always change the shape so you've done the mouth now you need to add in the nose or the nostrils so you might you can do them like that if you want, you can do circles. Okay, and then from the nose, you move on to doing the eyes. Actually, I might put these markers here and then just join up the face to the lines and then kind of like an oval head so you get his head shape in and then you want the eyes, they're kind of like rugby balls, to so kind of go up and around, down and around, okay, so up and around, and then around again, and then same on this side, you want those rugby balls to come up and down, okay, um, and then you can add in your detailing for the face. So some of you might want to do some kuru patterns. Um, some of you might want to do just some upside down Vs. Um, and then you need to add the detail of the eyes. So you can do a circle and a, another circle. All right. Um, then you can add some layers to the eyes. So when you come to pastel them, they can be all lots of different colors um, or have a pattern inside them. That's up to you. Okay. Um, Right, now we need to move on to the body. Now the body is kind of, comes down from the neck. So he doesn't really have a neck. So the body, see I've put those two there to kind of guide me for how to do the body. So we need to make sure we leave enough room for his feet. So see how I've used those dots there. So I'm gonna kind of bring this body down and then it's okay that I've gone past my dot because it's just a guideline of where to take that body. Um, and then from there, I need to draw in where I want his hands. So the hands are quite, um, they're quite basic to draw actually and they, and they are um, reasonably easy. So it's the letter C and then you kind of just do like your little horseshoe in. Okay, from there I'm going to have an elbow on this one. So his arm's going to come up from here, round his elbow, and then joining his wrist. And I need to, from here, there's his big muscle and kind of link that up there. 
So now we need to do the hand on the other side. And I might actually have this one holding something. So I need to link the hand up over here. So it's a, the letter C, but this time we have to do the letter C backwards to give us that hand. And then it's kind of like doing two caves. And then I want his elbow to come about here this time and his arm from here. So if we link that up to his elbow and up to his arm, and then we need to to his elbow there. And then probably just like a little bit there. Um, now we will move on to his feet. Now there's not much space for his feet, but that's okay. Now the feet are the same shape as the arms. So I want the feet down here. So I will do an upside down C this time. And over here. Here's his feet. And now we need to attach it to his body. Um, okay, so that is just basic outline. Um, and then you can always go on with a, an eraser and um, take out the bits that you don't want. So for like the detailing and things like that, um, you can always do sort of like your letter V and create a pattern. Just make sure you can still see, yeah. And then repeat that one pattern on the other side. Doing the letter V. Um, you could always, on the cheeks, add a quarter. And then back on the um, other side. Um, just keeping in mind um, that we, oh, I should have done it actually a bit bigger. Um, keeping in mind that you're going to be pastelling, so these patterns and things, don't make them too small because then it'll be too hard to um, get that colour in there for the pastelling. Um, I might actually, in the tongue, um, adding that detail, you could add your details to the arms as well. But this is just your basic, basic. Because what we are going to be doing is identifying one of the Māori gods and putting something into their hands. So if you perhaps were doing tangaroa, you might have um, you know, him holding a fish and that you could draw into that. Um, and adding a basket or um, if you were doing like say um, Tane Mahuta you might have um, some um, branches and stuff from a tree onto it with a basket with his kiki um, but we'll talk about more of that in class but this is just the basic outline to start you off.